Lexus presents tennis on Sky Sports. Welcome back to New York. We have some fantastic tennis to look forward to in terms of the women's semi-finals. But first of all, of course, we have to talk about Jack Drape. And who better to look ahead to his semi-final than Laura Robson. Laura, lovely to see you. I actually have heard it's been raining in England all day, but we're having a good time in New York, aren't we? We're having a great time. <laughs> it's fantastic weather for some tennis. Yeah, I feel like Jack's just on a roll at the moment, isn't he? And he's enjoying himself. He's loving the big stages. Uh, he's got a huge test ahead against the world number one, Yannick Sinner, but he's got no expectations and he can just go out there and, and try and play his best tennis, but it's going to be tough. Before we look ahead to that semi-final against Senna, I just wonder, you know, that win against Alex de Menor, I mean, what impressed you the most about it? Uh, his poise. His poise was so impressive. It was his first ever time on Arthur Ashe. It's a huge court. It's the biggest stadium in tennis. There's so much noise and other stuff going on as you look around, but he was focused on the job at hand. And so with every point, he was sticking to his routines. He was thinking about his game plan, thinking about the tactics and just stuck to it the whole time. And looking ahead now to his first ever Grand Slam semi-final against Yannick Sinner, the world number one, how do you think he'll be feeling? Because he, they've both talked about how they're very close friends and they're looking forward to it. They were only playing doubles a few weeks ago. How do you think they'll find it? Yeah, I remember last year Jack told me Yannick taught him how to make a carbonara. Um, so they are wow. quite good friends. Yeah, hopefully it was a good I recipe. I that recipe. <laughs> me too. But um, no, I, I just think, you know, it, it's going to be one of those matches where you don't think about it too much ahead of time because that's when the nerves come in. Uh, but as I said, you know, he's got nothing to lose. He's coming up against the world number one who's won a Grand Slam and this is also new for Jack that he can just soak up the atmosphere and, and try and relax and that's going to be one of the toughest asks though to, to try and play your best tennis on, on what's going to be a, yeah, a very tough stage <laughs> and a big stage. Absolutely. I wonder kind of what do you think could be more important because looking at the statistics it looks like Jack has played two hours less on court than Sinner but Jack hasn't played a Grand Slam semi-final. He's not played this much tennis in a Grand Slam before. So what do you think will balance out in the end, do you think, against them? I don't think you take too much out of the um, time spent on court for Yannick Sinner. I mean, he's a machine. All, all of the top guys are. They can spend five hours per match on court and still come back fresh uh, two days later. So, yeah, I wouldn't read too much into that. I think Jack's just got to play his own style of tennis i don't know that he's going to out hit yannick from the back of the court because hardly anyone can that's the biggest uh, ask on tour right now um but yeah if he can play brave and and come in a lot serve and volley um just do something different to get yannick Sinner out of the rhythm on the back of the court but you've always got a good chance haven't you in a semi-final i mean it's a complete lottery at a certain point so 50 50 and you just take your chances when you get them and just final question on jack i mean no matter what happens in tomorrow's semi-final there's just so many, so many positives to take from this US Open run. Oh, it's been amazing. <laughs> it's almost two weeks now, and he was here for a week before as well, so I'm sure he's, like, absolutely sick of New York, but not yet. Um, I, yeah, I just think we've all been building to this kind of result for Jack for so long because we knew he had the game and we knew he had all the weapons and, and the confidence in himself to be able to do it. Um, and to see it happen has been really special.